I'm going to teach you the box. This is a very common trick among jugglers, so I suggest you learn it. Let's start with two balls. With these two balls, we're going to learn three throws. In case I'm forgetting, we may learn more. We'll see. Anyway, we have a blue ball and an orange ball. The orange ball, uh, the blue ball will be facing out, and the orange ball is the, on the inside. We're going to throw the orange ball straight up in the, I mean the blue ball straight up in the air. And the orange ball we're going to pass it to our other hand. We're not going to throw it to our other hand. We're going to pass it to the other hand. Pretty easy step. That's one throw. Second throw we're going to learn. Two balls, or one ball in each hand, and we're going to throw the, third, the blue ball in the air, and then we're going to throw the orange ball in to that hand while it's in the air. And catch it. Just like that. Two easy throws, right? It's about to get harder. step. We're going to do what I did in that other throw, but then we're going to throw it back to the other hand that we originally had it in. Like that. The way to get this perfect is to um, throw it at the precise time. Right when you throw the blue ball up in the air, pass it to your other hand. When the blue ball starts to come down, pass it back. So it's pretty much like throw, pass, and then pass it right back as fast as you can. But not too fast. Keep track of it. I think that's all the throws. Bring in the third ball. We're going to do throw one, which was, hang on, this. But when we do that, we're going to throw this orange ball in the air after we pass it. So as soon as we start passing this that ball, orange ball to the other hand, we throw the orange ball, the other orange ball in the air. That. It looks like it's being thrown at the same time, the passing ball and the other orange ball. But it's not. You gotta get it precisely. Right. As soon as you're about to release that orange ball, throw the other one up. Keep practicing that. And once you're ready, we're going to do another throw, which looks like this. Now, when we are in this position, after we've done the step that I showed you right there. We have one ball in the air and one ball in our hand. What we're going to want to do is while that ball is in the air, we're going to pass it back to the other hand. So it's kind of like we're doing this and this combined. So that's what we do. So when we pass it back, got to throw the blue ball back up again because by that time we'll be back on our hand. Once you feel confident with that, add more throws and passes and you have your box.